Hey everybody, No Guts No Glory and Mr. That Is. Welcome back. We're back again mm -hmm. with an oldies haul. That's right. And if you haven't got one of these, sorry. Mm -hmm. But they are exploding and growing nationwide. Matter of fact, um, the last time we were in Branson, there was a brand new one going up. It wasn't open yet. Mm -hmm. So they're really expanding. Mm -hmm. So They have great produce. They have great prices. Mm -hmm. So you really should give them a try if you have one near you. So anyway, and plus we like stocking up. You know, a lot of, a lot of you have been with us for a very long time now. We are preppers. Now, when everyone hears the word preppers, right away they want to think, oh my gosh, you know, what? what's wrong with them? Are they sick? Or... There's that, that title got a bad name. There are a lot of reasons for being prepared. That's right. And it's not for some of the reasons some people think, like, you know, fanatics and end of the world and things like that. <clears throat> We just like to be prepared for a lot of things. You know, we live in Illinois. It's known for tornadoes. You know, we get a lot of snow sometimes. Snowstorm, blizzards. You know, just all kinds of, if, if we are retired, but if you're working and you lose your job, you know, and finances are getting tight, it's good to have what's called just be prepared with a stockpile of some things, you know, so when things get times get rough and you know emergencies mm -hmm. pop up mm -hmm. or like our situation we don't live around the corner they have just every store you know in a, mm -hmm. in a good we don't have town. a grocery store here yeah our town's small so, so we like to have things on hand plus if you're going to also help out some friends or family members as well who may have also fallen on some hard times then you're able to help them as well we do that so there mm -hmm. you go there's lots of reasons for bringing for being a prepper there you go. It's not a hoarder, it's a prepper. Correct. Good to be prepared. All right, so let's jump into this Aldi's. Okay. Go ahead. 100% tomato juice. This is the can of it, and it doesn't expire until like May of 22. So it's good to have that on the shelf. Mm -hmm. I use it for my goulash and things like that. We got a bag of the rest restaurant style tortilla chips. We went the other day to go have some, you know, we wanted uh, to use some bean dip and some <coughs> cheese dip, but we didn't have tortilla chips to dip in it. We're like, what the? Yep. <laughs> so we got a bag of that. And that's Clancy, that's their brand. Mm -hmm. So it's a big bag. I can't remember all the prices, sorry guys, but. They weren't, they were 92 cents. They weren't much at all. Yeah, they're, they're prices. Their prices are fantastic. Mm -hmm. These are a little pricey, but I really like them. And they don't have them very often. These are the apple chips. You got two of them. There's one underneath there. Okay, I got two of those. I stock up on them anytime I see them because half the time they don't have them. And that's their brand again. They were like $1.69 a piece. Okay. He'll know most of the prices. I didn't go with him on this trip. He also picked up a pasta side dish of the creamy what? What? Uh, what? Uh. <laughs> creamy garlic. <laughs> and I don't know. Do you remember? And that's their brand of the Nor. And they were uh, 89 cents. Yep. And these, this, you're going to get to see us do a taste test. Mm -hmm. we, I got a couple of more things here for taste test. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. This is their brand, Clancy, and this is cheesy garlic bread. What? Huh? Yeah, potato chips. Garlic chip. bread. So we're going to try that on the taste test. And we're going to try uh, this one. Their brand as well, Clancy's. It's the crinkle cut Moscow mule flavored. What the, what, what the heck is it? What does Moscow, I know what a mule would taste like. I know. And I got, I think it's kind of limey, lemony, limey tasting. It says happy hour yeah. is what it says. But I, I read the ingredients and it does have lime juice, so. Gluten free, but Moscow mule kettle chips. Probably won't yeah. like them, but we're going to do it for you guys. Yep, there yeah. you go. It just doesn't sound good, lime and potato <laughs> chip, you know. And this is just their regular brand, and they're only a dollar nineteen, and they really taste a lot like Lay's if you haven't had them. Needed a loaf of bread, so we got the split top wheat bread. 
It was what? Like 85. 85 cents for their loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, needed a couple of cake mixes because we were out. So I got a yellow and a chocolate. Again, Baker's Corner is their brand. But they're a lot like the Betty Crocker. And with that, we also needed some uh, frosting. So got a rich and creamy chocolate. And a rich and creamy vanilla. So there you go. And another good thing about a lot of the frostings now, they used to have, on the back, they used to have a lot of trans fats, and now they're all coming out with the zero trans fats. That's, trans fats are the worst fat you can have. And your body cannot get rid of it. Your turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one can of Great Northern Beans, just because. And they were only uh, 48 cents. This is a repurchase and it's v equivalent. You know, tastes exactly like, if not even better, uh, than the Lipton yeah. brand of the noodle soup. And this is the extra noodle. And doesn't have the MSG, where a lot of those have MSG in it. So, there you go. These are good. Another can of refried beans. They were 79 cents. You can't find them for that price hardly any place else. It's well over a dollar. A box of the chicken flavored vermicelli and rice mix. I think that's how you say mm -hmm. it. That's equivalent to rice soroni. The the what? That's right. We've given you that one before. <laughs> and I got two of their brand. One is the angel hair. An herb, and the other is the Parmesan and cheese. Yum, yum. Got a big package, 50 plates of the, it says compare to Hefty. But it's the Boulder brand of the Styrofoam plates. Now, I don't particularly like Styrofoam. I prefer paper, but hey, it was a good price. Yeah, $1.19, so that was a really good price. We picked it up for 50 of them. We did it. Mm-hmm. Another can of the tuna in water, their brand, 68 cents. All right, we got a box of mashed potatoes. It says grown in Idaho. And we will be? We vacuum seal all of our mashed potatoes that we get in boxes so that it will last. Excuse me. God bless you. So that it will last a lot longer. So we vacuum seal that. Yep. And is this the last item? Yep. Got three of these. This is their, the very young small sweet peas. Now, if you guys, I love my peas. The regular sweet peas are pretty expensive, but these are real expensive usually. But at Aldi's, the regular ones are 44 cents a can, and these are only 50 cents a can. So I stock up on those anytime they get them. Half the time they're out of them. So that is the end of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything there that you want to? Well, isn't that special? Who's that from? Who's that? What? What's that from? And who says that? <laughs> Got one for me to give them, honey, because I, I wasn't sure prepared. Do. Whatever you want. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> You idiot! <laughs> you idiot! You did not give me that to be prepared, you idiot! Who said that? <laughs> I like there that you one. go. You idiot! What? I'll give you a clue. What cartoon? Yeah, it's a cartoon. What cartoon character said mm -hmm. that all the time? All right, guys, we're going to get off here, put this stuff away, and we'll see you shortly in the next video. Remember to always let go like God. No guts, no glory, and. A uh, mister, that is. Um, oh, we'll show that. Yes, we're not going to end it. We're, all right, we'll say, God bless us all. Bye, but we're not gone. <laughs> there you go, since we said our outro. We forgot this in our warm Walmart haul to show you. But, of course, I like to look at clearance every, in every department, and I love jewelry. A lot of you know I love silver jewelry. So we went over to the jewelry department, and they had a whole case of markdown clearance jewelry. So I saw this one 
it's a ring it's normally $48 as you can see it is sterling silver but I got it for $30 so I saved 18 bucks opal sterling ring as you can see there it is there it's very very pretty so there you go I got that as well from Walmart all right guys mm -hmm. now we are officially gone I'm not saying my outro again there you go bye adios bye